Hey everyone, my name is Kajal and welcome to a VBOTS tutorial video. In today's VBOTS tutorial video, we will learn how to use GPS. I'll talk about how to add GPS to your robot, changes in the setting, and the code to use GPS values. I've included the timings here and in the description below. This VBOTS tutorial will be conducted in Python. If you're looking for the code in other programming languages such as C or C++, tell me in the comments below. And if I do end up making them, I'll include them in the description below. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's start by creating a new VBOTS project. As you can see, our VBOTS world has started with a rectangular arena. The first thing I'm going to do is make it a little bigger. So go to the VBOTS scene tree, click on rectangular arena, floor size, and then we'll change the X and values to be 2 by 2 and hit enter. Next, we're going to add a robot. So use the plus icon to add a new node. I'm going to use the find button to type epoch. Select the EPUC robot and click Add. Make sure to keep saving your VBOTS world. Next, let's add GPS to our EPUC. Go to the VBOTS scene tree and click on EPUC. Under EPUC, go to Terrain slot. Then click on the plus icon and then under Base node, select GPS. Click Add to add this to our VBOTS world and make sure to keep saving your VBOTS world. Next, for our particular case, we need to make some changes to our world. Go back to your VBOTS scene tree and click on World Info. Under World Info, make sure your coordinate system is NUE and your GPS coordinate system is set to local. With this, Let's move on to writing our VBOTS controller code. Make sure to change your epoch to use the new controller code. Go to the VBOTS scene tree, click on epoch. Under epoch, go to controller and then select the new controller code we just created. And make sure to save your VBOTS world. I'll start by writing basic code to enable motors and move the epoch around. If you've never written a VBOTS controller code, I recommend checking out my tutorial where I go over the basics of writing a VBOTS controller code. I'll put it in the cards here and in the description below. Let's get to it. I'm going to change the time step to a constant of 32. I'm also creating a variable max speed and giving it the value of 6.28, which is the max speed for EPUC in VBOTS. Next, let's initialize the motors. I'm using variables left motor and right motor for my left wheel and right wheel motors. I'll be driving the epoch with velocity, so I'm setting the position to infinity and the initial velocity to zero. Let's 
Let's simply drive the robot straight. I'm giving a quarter of the velocity so that we can observe the GPS values much better. Let's save the code and run it to see it works as expected. To run the VBOT simulation, click on the play icon. As you can see, it's working as expected. Let's hit pause, reset, and now move on to the GPS code. Our first step is to create an instance for GPS. Similar to other sensors, we will use get GPS. Next, we enable it using time step. Next, let's read the GPS values. Let's hit save and run the VBOT simulation. Click on the play icon for VBOT simulation. It looks like I made a typo. There is no underscore between time step. Let's save that, reset the world and run it again. As you can see on the console, we are starting to get some values. Let's format it so we can read it a little better. Make sure to save your VBOTS controller code. Let's clear the console, reset the world, and run it one step at a time. As you can see, they're much easier to read. Now let's also understand what these values represent. For a better understanding, I would say enable the coordinate system. So go to view, optional rendering and click on show coordinate system. You should see a coordinate system here with X, Y and Z. The red marks the X coordinate, which is the first value. The blue marks the Z coordinate, which is the last value and green marks the Y coordinate. Now our arena is two by two, which means each of this box is about 0.25 meters. I'm running play again After running the simulation for a little while, we've got the epoch at the end of one of these quadrants. As I mentioned before, Z is the blue coordinate. The direction that epoch is moving in is minus Z direction. If you look at the GPS value, the Z coordinate is now near minus 0.25 meters. Let's make some changes. I'm going to reset the VBOTS world. Click on the epoch, go to VBOT scene tree, rotation. Y is 1, an angle is 1.57 radius. Hit enter. As you can see, the robot has rotated. Make sure to save your VBOTS world. Clear the console and run the simulation again. As you can see, the robot moved in the minus x direction, which is why the first GPS value is close to minus 0.25. If you have any questions or doubts, please use the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you. Before you go, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.